we have 12 shades here and we got nine mattes and three shimmers shader brush it's quite thick and short and stubby which is brilliant and i am going in for i'm a hundred percent that witch which is this purple here going to tap that off and I'm just going to start putting that down stamping it in this area I want to try technique as well which is just literally stamping down the shadows and then blending them Makeup by Missa does that, and she has the most awful, awesome, has the most awesome um, color payoff. Shadows always look so good. You don't make me get my broom. This one here, and I'm just um, doing the same. Just stamping that around. Now I know that um, Katie on Makeup for Lost Time had a problem with this shade. So I am very aware of that. Different to what I usually do. If when I do stamp I usually blend straight away. different and now I'm gonna go into uh, relax it's only magic which is this like bluey purple I'm gonna put that just sort of around this area which is a bit different literally just that area oh uh, guys this could go totally wrong so, um, now I'm going in with a clean blending brush it's just a beauty bay one and I'm going to just start blending I could already see that dark purple has gone patchy. So I am going to have to build on that. I'm going to dip into the dark purple and the light purple. And just start blending them together. So it's a different technique I'm not sure it's something I'm gonna to have to practice I'm just going to relax it's only magic that like blue giving it a tap because I just have a feeling that's what I'm gonna want here and luckily it is shearing out I was hoping for that I'm just gonna Grabbing a little bit more of that because although it's shearing out, I don't want it being patchy. Just using the Sigma switch because I just want to blend out these edges. I'm going to go back in to that. I'm not. I'm 100% that witch, that dark purple. Give it a tap. I'm just going to stamp that all here again. I go in with this blending brush. I'm laughing because um, <laughs> I just feel like it's going to take a while. I'm just doing the same over and over. I've got a little bit of fallout there, not much though. Look, look it's going patchy again. 
do let's play light as a feather let's play light as a feather this one quite a big bag going into that and i'm just gonna see if i could cover up this yep just seems to be there so it might be the eye primer what's going on with my hair because i had to wet it after wearing that wig no it just looks spiky morphe by a uh, blending brush why the rest in witch face which is this green hair and i'm gonna start putting that through the front part of the crease joining that and just dabbing that where it's hitting that purple that's so nice wow just to clean that and now I'm just going to blend Blending these two together with the teeniest, tiniest bit of green. It's a Spectrum A27. And I'm going in for the, let me spell it out, that dark green. And I am going to put that right in the crease area here. Just to darken it up. Coven Confessions, which is this purple, like bluey purple, like a really lovely purple. So it kind of reminds me of like a periwinkle purple. It's Colourpop E24 brush, and I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Glue. There's workmen outside, so I'm sorry about all the noise. I'm just going to take that on there and lately I've really enjoyed just using one shadow all across the lid so I think that may be what I'll be doing today and taking Coven Confessions oh it's quite chunky I'm just going to start placing that all over the lid You guys can't hear the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> We're playing some 80s music. Very good. Yeah, I absolutely adore that. Uh, let's play Light as a Feather, the darker purple. And I am going to put that right on the outer part of the lower lash line. It's a lot of brushes with this one guys, so I'm just going to use that purple blending brush. Just uh, tap it really around while I just put that darker shade down. Relax, it's only music, that periwinkle like purple. Give that a tap and I'm going to use that on the lower lash line to blend out the darker shade. Cheers Witches, the shimmer green. I'm going to take that on that. Am I going to take it on there? I don't know. You know what? I'm actually going to use this on there. I am going to spray it. And I hope this doesn't ruin it. But I'm not going to put it on the lower lash line. I am going to use it. But first I just want to see. About using the screen. To line. 
around here and the top of the purple Uh, cheers witches I'm gonna take it on this Colourpop E29 brush it's really small I'm gonna give that a spray I'm gonna put that where I was originally gonna put it on the lower lash line here I'm just joining that to the purple For blush I'm using the palette and I'm using Let's Hex Our X's and I'm taking it on a Spectrum C07 brush so and uh, I'm just gonna start placing that here oh yeah look perfect blush color this is gorgeous oh, look at that for blush wow milk hydro setting spray I'm near enough gone I want to use it all up Melt Morning Star Highlight while my skin is still a little bit damp. Just gonna dig into that and just start putting that here. Oh, that looks so pretty. I finished my eyes and the lashes are Allure London Volume Lashes. They are just so lovely. I love these lashes. I have Colourpop uh, Spare Time, I believe. The Raw Beauty Chrissy one. Uh, eyeliner. Um, yeah, and that's it. Oh, and uh, I did use uh, Mascara. It's Physician's Formula. The Volume and Length one which is rubbish it's basically dried out so I'm gonna be decluttering that one and for my inner corner highlight I just mixed the melt morning star highlight that I use on my cheeks in with the green shadow which is the cheers wishes that um green shimmer there so no time for lips I'm just gonna give this a shake and this is black magic by give me glow Oh, it's one of those nice flat sort of uh, doe foots, like the um, Unearthly Cosmetics ones, which I love. So I'm looking forward to using this. Shall I line my lips? I should really line my lips first. The doe foot is quite firm, but the lipstick is really nice. It feels nice. It's gorgeous and so shiny. I don't know whether you can see that. It looks like black leather. Gorgeous. Mm. Okay, so this is the finished look. It wasn't totally what I was expecting. I did try and use some new techniques with a new palette, probably not the best idea um, because I already knew that these purples weren't going to be the easiest to work with. This palette is grey, um, the purples are hard to work with, definitely not um, beginner friendly purples, but um, I think you know once you get used to knowing how to work with them and just working with them a bit longer than usual perhaps, you know giving yourself enough time to do a makeup look, it should work out great, you know I don't see why not. Um, I do want to try doing a few looks with this, so I'll probably do a three looks one palette because I'm mainly used to doing more smoky eyes, more blown out eyes for me. This is more, I don't know, more solid sort of eyeshadow look, you know. Uh, it's not smoky so much. So, um, yeah, I think uh, trying my usual techniques, the way I work with eyeshadow, doing a few looks, um, definitely want to try that. But I, I really enjoy using this. I love the, the shimmers. I do really love the colour payoff. You know, it's really good. Like I said, the purples are just hard to work with. It could be down to the eyeshadow primer as well. So I'll try it with a different eyeshadow primer next time. Really loved using this lipstick. It's gorgeous. It's um, 
a little bit tacky. Yeah. A little bit tacky, but I've still got a little while to see whether it'll dry down a bit more. I oh, know I love this and the blush using this for a blush. Wow, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me for this first impressions of Bad Witch Club um palette by Give Me Glow. First impressions of the liquid lipstick by Give Me Glow in Black Magic. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.